Hey everybody, Corey here coming at you with another knife video today. This is going to be a quick one. I'm actually working on a review right now, but I wanted to put this out there because I was watching Nick Shabazz's most recent review, which is the JHO Knives number 22. And he said something that kind of got this going in my head. Now, I'm not saying Nick is right or wrong or he should change whatever he's doing. It is what it is. But... Um, he just disassembled it and he said, man, there's no internal milling on this one. I, it would have been really nice to see that because it would have made the knife lighter. Um, I just want to put this out there into the ether. Sometimes designers, manufacturers, whatever the case might be, they make deliberate decisions. And sometimes it's the case where someone may have designed that knife. I'm not saying that's what happened with this JHO number 22. But sometimes they design the knife and they say, wow, I like the weight. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do any milling because I like where the weight is at right now. In the opposite direction, sometimes people say, I want this to be a heavier knife. So I'm going to use thick blade stock. I'm not going to do internal milling. I'm not going to do anything else to weight reduce. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make a full backspacer just to give it some extra weight. You know, whatever the case might be. I, I think in the knife world, We've just kind of been chugging along since 2016 when things started to really pick up. And I think people forget that some things are objective and some things are subjective, right? And at some point, weight got thrown into the bin of objectively good when we're talking about a lower weight knife. The lighter the knife, the better the knife. And that's just not the case. I think people forget that Weight can be a preference, not something that is just objectively the lighter the knife, the better the knife, right? Some people like big knives. Some people like heavy knives. Now, obviously, there's a max, right? If someone gave you a pocket knife that weighed as much as a cinder block, yes, that's a problem, obviously. But when we're talking about knives between three to five ounces, yes, if you're an experienced knife collector, you're going to feel the difference. But at the end of the day... Personally, I would never say, oh, they could have made this knife lighter, so they should have. Sometimes they shouldn't have. Sometimes they did it that way because they wanted it to. And it's okay if you want the knife to be lighter or heavier, but that doesn't mean that it would be better if it was lighter or heavier, right? We're not talking about an inadequate sharpening choil. We're not talking about a pocket clip that's just too shallow to fit on your pocket. We're not talking about a bad action, right? We're talking about, do you like the weight of the knife or do you not like the weight of the knife? If it's properly balanced, well, we're going too deep. We're going too deep, okay? But, you know, something like that, oh, I wish there was internal milling. Eh, maybe you do. That's fine. But remember, when you are evaluating knives, when you're looking at reviews online and you're trying to figure out if a knife is right for you, it's very easy to look at someone who's very experienced, like Nick Shabazz. And again, I am not crapping on Nick Shabazz. I'm just saying, you get caught up in these reviews and you get caught up in these experts. And when someone like Nick Shabazz comes along and says, I wish it had internal milling, you have to be careful that you don't go, oh, crap. Nick Shabazz wishes it had internal milling. Yeah, it might it might not be a good knife because it doesn't have internal mill, milling and he called it out for that. What if what if you like a heavier knife? Don't forget what you like. Don't forget the things that you mind or don't mind when you're watching a review when you're thinking about purchasing a knife. Because just like Nick I have preferences and I might accidentally slip and say something in a video where it's subjective to me, but I'm going to tell you, oh, I don't like this, this, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not what I would do. That doesn't mean it's not what you would do. And, and forgive me if this sounds like common sense, but I just want to remind you, don't get too wrapped up in YouTube. Don't get too wrapped up in reviews. If you see something that's critically wrong with a knife, objectively wrong with a knife, that's one thing. But if you like heavier knives, don't, don't let someone tell you, oh, it could be lighter. Ah, I don't like it. If you like thicker blade stock knives, don't let someone tell you, ah, oh, the blade stock's a little too thick, I don't like it. If you like knives with fullers, don't let someone tell you, ah, oh, the fuller, it's pointless, it, it collects crap. You're allowed to like whatever you like. 
Never forget that. I will see you guys soon. I'm dropping a review. I got to figure out which knife we're, we're doing next, but it's been a long time. I love you guys. I still love you guys. I'll see you next time.